As everyone has seen last Friday, saw the start of what has become the largest global IT outage we've experienced so far. So all organizations that were using the CrowdStrike Falcon software were impacted as a result of receiving a faulty software update for Windows computer systems that were running at the time. And as you already mentioned, a large number of organizations and sectors were impacted. And myself being based in Australia, uh, all, uh, a lot of the airlines, banks, supermarkets, petrol stations, etc., were impacted. One of the consequences of the faulty software update was that these systems were no longer being able to function and, then, and could also not be rebooted and requiring uh, manual intervention to get to operations again. Wuta, as you say, this essentially started in Australia and spread around the world. The impact was truly global and really not since Y2K have we seen anything like this. So what are Microsoft and CrowdStrike doing now to avoid this ever happening again? So there are a few things that CrowdStrike and Microsoft have already done. So firstly, on Friday, CrowdStrike has reverted the um, defaulty software update and that was being released. So any companies that had not received the update since should be okay now to update the software. Now, unfortunately, most of the systems that crashed were unable to be restarted successfully and required manual intervention to apply what is called a workaround. And, um, and most of the companies have been working very hard and diligently over the weekend to restore um, their most business critical systems. Um, now, a lot of complications have arisen as well, um, especially in the event where Windows systems used disk encryption. These, um, to be able to restore these systems required a number of additional steps, um, introducing the complexities about getting systems back up and running. Now, other than this workaround that CrowdStrike has already released over the weekend, Microsoft has released a recovery tool as well that may assist organizations with their recovery activities. And recently, CrowdStrike has communicated as well that they are working on an accelerated fix, which should hopefully um, be able to restore a number of the systems faster that have not been restored yet. And as you say, the restoration and recovery still underway, but the finger of blame is being pointed in multiple directions here because this, this incident really exposed just how vulnerable businesses can be to the technology risks. So who do you think is ultimately responsible for this outage? Is it CrowdStrike, is it Microsoft, or is it the end user? So, so there's a few things to consider here. So firstly, as, as we've experienced now during this incident, um, Everyone is relying heavily on digital digital systems these days, and um, falling down of one of these components can have a significant implication. It is a good reminder for all organizations out there to review their business continuity management processes. So business continuity management processes have the objective to define how a business can operate um, when IT systems are not down and, and, and have available alternative processes to keep the, the organizations up and running while systems are being restored. So that is the first um, area of consideration. Now, secondly, as well, it, this incident also ha highlights the importance for software vendors to rigorously test software and software updates prior to making these available to their customers. And then one point I do like to mention as well, which probably uh, organizations will be giving consideration to is um, in the future, any software update that an organization right. received from a vendor, um, what level of testing do they need to go through before they actually deploy these um, to that whole of organization?